lovelies welcome to my channel um my name is alicia and today i'm going to show you how i derma blade or derma plane at home um so instead of going to a whole spiel we're just going to jump right into it okay so here we go so one of the questions is what is derma blading well Basically, dermablading is using a blade to improve the appearance of, of, of your skin. In professional dermablading, an esthetician takes a straight razor and basically uses or a scalpel to remove the fine hair or what they call peach fuzz um, from your face. The blade will essentially exfoliate the surface of the skin scraping away um, dead skin cells and all the, the little hairs on your face that you don't want and so that way your your makeup goes on smooth and you have your the appearance of your skin is brighter and healthier um, I've seen some youtubers they use um, like a men's razor to shave their face in my opinion um, that's great I mean if that's the thing that you want to do go on with your bad self and do it but in my opinion um, you run the risk of giving yourself razor burn or the hair coming back um, thicker. But that's just my opinion. Um, so you can do with it what you will. So the next question is, is it safe to do at home? Should I go to a professional? Well, dermaplaning or dermablading is not covered by insurance. So you're going to pay out of pocket. And you run the risk of paying about $150 to $250 for each session. Um, dermatologists say this treatment is, is effective for people looking to um, make your skin appear more youthful, more smooth, brighter, um, but the problem is the results last basically about three weeks. So considering the, the, the time that we're in with COVID-19 running rampant, um, people being laid off or not, you know, they're not um, getting the hours, their hours are being cut. There's there's a lot of things going on right now. So money may be a little tight. So spending what, 200 300 to $500 a month is not ideal. So I'm going to show you the steps that I do to Dermablade at home. So step one is you want to Prep your skin by washing with a facial cleanser. Usually you want to use a gentle facial cleanser. Um, I use Oil of Olay's. I've been using this for, see I'm 50. I've been using this for since a lot. I've been able to wear makeup so since I was 16. I've been using this for a long time. Classic cleanser. This is what I use every, every morning and every night to wash my face. So once you do that, you want to... Uh, pat your skin dry. Um, now some they say while well, your skin is still moist or damp but if you pat it your face dry it's no longer damp. So what I do is I use oil and I use you can use um, whatever oil you know olive oil, baby oil, vitamin E oil. I like to use um, olive oil but sometimes I also like to use um, baby oil with vitamin E in it. Um, and I just put that all over my face. Just make sure my face is covered in the oil. That way you can see what you're going to scrape off. Okay? So make sure your skin is covered with your oil. And then the next thing you're going to use is your blade. Now I got these from um, Walmart. They're called it's by by About Face, and I don't know if you can see that. It's by About Face, and they're called Fuzz Free Fold and Gold Groomers. Um, you can use this for you can use this for your eyebrows to shape your eyebrows. You can use it for you know a bunch of stuff, ex exfoliation, all that. But I'm like I said, I'm gonna use it to. Um, derma blade and so your hair around your around your um, chin 
and your jaw and your upper lip is usually the thickest so that's usually where you want to start first so I'm going to show you how to do it. don't go against the grain because you run the risk of cutting yourself professionals they can go against the grain because they're professionals but we as amateurs don't want to do that because you run the risk of cutting yourself and you can seriously injure yourself so I suggest going with the grain so I'm going to show you um, how I do this and I'm going to do this in real time because I want to show you how slow I'm going and how gentle I'm being okay and then later on I'm going to speed it, speed it up so um, the best thing you want to do is make sure that you have a good magnifying lighted mirror I have this one it's um I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply it's a 10 times magnification mirror and it's lighted so I can get in real close to make sure that I'm getting um, those areas so let's just get into it And then just use a, uh, you can just use a, you can use cotton or use a Kleenex to get that stuff, so. And you can see how slow I'm going. Okay, so here I'm going to speed it up for time's sake. I would suggest don't go over acne breakouts or other inflamed skin um, to prevent scarring or unnecessary bleeding. Um, check your work with a lighted magnifying mirror or go into natural light and see any areas that you might have missed. Go over any parts of your cheeks, chin, and upper lip that you still see has the peach fuzz or you can tell that um, from the oil that you missed those areas. Um, if you do nick yourself, put some Vaseline or some Neosporin on it. That will help heal. And if you're the bleedy type, at home dermablading might not be for you. So just slap on a band-aid and look for a licensed esthetician for the next time. Because, um, yeah. If you're going to be bleeding all over the place, this is probably not good for you. But like, as you can see, I'm just going over those areas to make sure that I got um, everything. Um, I didn't go, I, I will go over the eyebrow area more cleanly because um, I didn't want to get too close and accidentally take off my eyebrow because that's not a good look. But um, yeah, I'm just making sure I go over the areas and that, that everything is nice and smooth at this point. And you see I puff out my cheeks to make sure that those areas are smooth because when you do go over the cheek area, you run the risk of cutting yourself. So I puff out my cheeks to make sure that um, I don't cut myself. Okay, so now that I've finished dermablading, now I'm going to go and wash my face again and get all the oil off my face. I will be right back, okay? Okay, so now I'm back. I've gone and I've cleaned all the oil off my face. Now I'm going to follow up with my Clean Skin Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It has watermelon, green tea, and pineapple in it. I got this from my, actually from my BoxyCharm. I'm in the BoxyCharm Club. So I'm just going to use this afterwards and put this all over my face.
Oh, that feels so good. Put this on my face. And then follow it up with my Oil of Olay Age Defying um, 2-in-1 Day Cream and Serum. Um, I'll put this on my face. And you're pretty much done. That's it. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to work for you. I just know it works for me, okay? Um, so, if you like this video, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you know when new content is coming up. And thanks for watching. Bye now.